Uh, what's interesting is that uh, it is clear that the Chinese government is taking the air pollution problem, not just in Beijing, but nationwide, quite seriously now. They consider it, of course, to be a health problem. Uh, it's a problem in social stability. Uh, it's clear that they have to deal with it in order to maintain, if you will, uh, the sort of disciplined society that, that they have. Um, I often tell the story that uh, the U.S. Embassy in Beijing has its own atmospheric monitoring. It differed quite a bit from what our Chinese scientist colleagues were telling us uh, was contained in the atmosphere until recently. Now the, the numbers are converging. Mm -hmm. So there is some truth to the data. It's no longer truthy, in Steve Colbert's words. Uh, and the Chinese are, are implementing that. They've established carbon markets in a number of cities as test cases. Those are gonna go nationwide. Uh, and they are beginning to put pollution controls uh, and uh, operational controls on much of the coal. But as far as China goes, the whole story really is whether they're going to be using their dirty coal or not, or, uh, and whether that can be converted. That really is gonna be the issue. Uh, as, as Art alluded, the, uh, the single most encouraging regulatory development uh, in the world today, I think, on climate change, is that uh, China, largely because of the crushing air pollution in Beijing and other cities, has, a, has uh, introduced these seven pilot programs in seven states and provinces of cap and trade uh, programs with the plan to have them go national uh, within a couple of years to find the best features. And, and so this would be far and away the largest carbon market ever devised. And it, I think, would dominate world carbon markets and world regulation of, of climate change. Uh, another very positive thing happening out of China, of course, is uh, the production of solar photovoltaic cells. And the price of that is, is declining at, a, at such a rapid rate that uh, in many places it's becoming competitive with fossil fuel, which is another extremely important part, utterly essential part of the picture of coming up with solutions.